today's lesson. Good day. So, for today, we will be discussing Module 13, Tools and Materials for Electrical Wiring and Electronic Circuits. So, there are two main categories, that is the tools, second is the materials. So, dun mo sa first tool, flat screwdriver to loosen slotted screws. As you can see, pareho ng mga tools tayo na discuss sa electronics dati and ngayon sa electrical. So, to loosen slotted screws o yung parang pahalang. The second one is what we call the Phillips screwdriver. It is a cross head. So, yung mga screw lang na cross ang kaya niyang itighten or loosen. Third one is what we call the Jeweler Screwdriver Set. It is a small set of screwdrivers, especially Phillips and flat, para po sa mga malilit na screws for laptops and other gadgets. Next one is what we call the soldering iron. So it is used to join two parts by applying heat on a metal called lead. So nakikita nyo dun sa ating animation, kinutunaw yung tinga para makonek yung isang component sa circuit board. Soldering tool stand. This is where you place the soldering iron while it is hot. So, para hindi ka makasunog ng lamesa or ng plastic na lamesa, there should be a proper tool para sa lagayan nito. Ito yung tinatawag natin soldering tool stand. The next one is the desoldering pump. So, kung ang soldering iron is for soldering or joining two components together, the soldering pump is the other way around. So, kailangan ito ay nagtatanggal ng component sa circuit board, as you can see in the animation. The next one is the long nose pliers, used for bending or cutting wires. So, nakikita nyo naman dun sa ating simple draw animation na nagbe-bend siya ng wire or nagpuputol. Side cutting pliers. Itong pliers na to is only intended for cutting wires. Next is what we call the combination pliers. Bakit siya combination? Kasi it can do more a lot of things than a regular long nose plier or a side cutter. It can grip, it can bend, and it can cut wires. The next one is what we call the wire stripper. Sa so wire stripper, pinabalatan niya lang yung wire para makapag gamit ka ng joint na i-discuss natin sa susunod na module. So, nakikita nyo dito sa animation, pinabalata niya yung wire. Tinatanggal niya yung insulator. Hacksaw. So, hacksaw is a very common tool for cutting metal. Steel bars or any steel, you use hacksaw to cut it. And, yun lang po ang ating mga tools. Let us proceed naman sa ating mga materials. Sa materials, the first one that we need to have or to have is what we call the batteries. Ito yung isang uri ng source that provides direct current to our simple circuits. Um, it uses chemical reactions to create flow of electrons. The next one is a fuse. It protects the circuit in excessive current. So sa fuse, nakikita nyo dito sa ating animation, pag sumobra yung current, pumuputok or napuputol. Sa ganitong paraan, napoprotektahan ng fuse yung sobra-sobrang pagdaloy ng kuryente papunta dun sa circuit. Siya na mismo yung nasisiha. The next one is the wire, also known as our conductor. Ang ating conductor are may dalawang uri, what we call them um, stranded and solid. Pag stranded, as you can see in this picture, there are multiple copper wires inside the insulator. Pag solid naman, one single uh, copper wire lang ang makikita mo sa loob. Switch. Switch one that turns on or off a circuit. So, pinaka-basic para pag in mo siya, close ang circuit. Pag off, open ang circuit. So, ito yung nagpuputol ng connection or nagdudugtong ng connection din sa isang circuit para dumalayo ang isang kuryente. Lastly is load. Load is object that draws current from the source. Anything that consumes current or voltages is what we call load. Appliances, ilaw, any gadget, 
that uses uh, electricity is what we call the load. 